Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please, if you have a seat, be seated. If you don't, <laughs> come up on stage. Thank you very much. It's a great honor to be here. Mr. President, they tell me you're over there somewhere. There you are. Thank you, Mr. President. Be not afraid. These were the first words at the first public address of the first Hum Pope 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 after his election on October 1978. There were the words that would come to define Pope John Paul II. Words that would change the world. John Paul brought the message here to Warsaw in his first trip back home as Pope in June of 1979. 1979 the power of faith, the power of resilience, the power of the people. In the face of a cruel and brutal system of government, it was a message that helped end the Soviet repression in the central land in Eastern Europe 30 years ago. It was a message that will overcome the cruelty and brutality of this unjust war. When Pope John Paul brought that message in 1979, the Soviet Union ruled with an iron fist behind the Iron Curtain. Then a year later, the Solidarity Movement took hold in Poland. Well, I know he couldn't be here tonight. We're all grateful in America and around the world for Lech Walesa. Reminds me of that phrase of a philosopher Kierkegaard, faith sees best in the dark. And they were dark moments. Ten years later, the Soviet Union collapsed and Poland and Central and Eastern Europe would soon be free. Nothing about that battle for freedom was simple or easy. It was a long, painful slog. Fought over not days and months, but years and decades. But we emerged anew in the great battle for freedom, a battle between democracy and autocracy, between liberty and repression, between a rules-based order and one governed by brute force. In this battle, we need to be clear-eyed. This battle will not be won in days or months either. We need to steel ourselves for the long fight ahead. Mr. President, Mr. Prime Minister, Mr. Mayor, members of the Parliament, distinguished guests, and the people of Poland, and I suspect some people of Ukraine that are here. We are, we are gathered here at the royal castle in this city that holds a sacred place in the history of, not only of Europe, but humankind's unending search for freedom. For generations, Warsaw has stood where liberty has been challenged and liberty has prevailed. In fact, the Warsaw, when a young refugee who fled her home country from Czechoslovakia, who was under Soviet domination, came back to speak and stand in solidarity with dissidents. Her name was Madeleine Kobel Albright. She became one of the most ardent supporters of the democracy in the world. She was a friend with whom I served, America's first woman Secretary of State. She passed away three days ago. She fought her whole life for essential democratic principles. And now, in the perennial struggle for democracy and freedom, Ukraine and its people are on the front lines fighting to save their nation. Aaj Ukraine aur uske log apni democracy ke liye apne azadi ke liye lad rahe hain jis tarah se kabhi Poland ne yuddh lada tha. The rule of law, fair and free elections, 
the freedom to speak, to write, and to assemble. Rule of freedom law. Freedom to worship. Bolne ki aasati. Ye sabhi ka hai. Freedom of the press. These principles are essential in a free society. Free press. Ek aisa samaj jahan par sabhi ki aasati. Ho ye bahut zaroori hai. They've always been under siege. They've always been in battle. Every generation has had to defeat democracy's moral foes. That's the way of the world. For the world is imperfect, as we know, where the appetites and ambitions of a few forever seek to dominate the lives and liberty of many. My message to the people of Ukraine is a message I delivered today to Ukraine's foreign minister and defense minister. Today, my message to Ukraine's foreign minister and defense और रक्षा मंत्री से हुए और मैंने उनसे कहा कि हम आपके साथ खड़े हुए हैं टूडेज फाइटिंग कीव एंड मेट्रोपोलन कारकीव ऑफ द लेटेस्ट बैटल ऑन लॉन्ग स्ट्रगल हंगरी 1956 पोलैंड 1956 हंगरी 1956 पोलैंड चेकोस्लोवाकिया 1956 सोवियत टैंक्स स्लोवाकिया क्रश डेमोक्रेटिक अपराइजिंग्स इन तमाम देशों में ऐसे हालात बने बर्लिन में भी कुछ ऐसा ही हुआ था और उसके बाद सोवियत यूनियन गिर गया वो टुकड़ों में बढ़ उसके बाद एक शीत युद्ध का जो आगाज है वो हमने देखा Its hallmarks are familiar ones: contempt for the rule of law, contempt for democratic freedom, contempt for the truth itself. Today, Rashtrapati Biden has strangled democracy. अधिकारों के लिए contempt जो था उसको खत्म किया गया. Claims of ethnic solidarity is invalidated. Neighboring nations. Putin has the gall. To say he's denazifying Ukraine, it's a lie. It's just cynical. He knows that, and it's also obscene. President Zelensky was democratically elected. He's Jewish. His father's family was wiped out in the Nazi Holocaust, and Putin has the audacity, like all our autocrats before him. Ukraine ke Rashtrapati Zelensky ka zikr kar rahe hain Rashtrapati Biden aur bata rahe hain ki kaise. रूस के राष्ट्रपति पुतिन जो कह रहे हैं वो झूठ है कैसे एक लोकतांत्रिक तरीके से चुनकर जेलेंसकी राष्ट्रपति बने हैं और वो लगातार सामना कर रहे हैं यूक्रेन जिस तरह से रूस का सामना कर रहा है वो बताता है कि लोकतांत्रिक मूल्यों में कितनी ताकत है आज हमें एक बार फिर ये रिजोल्व दिखाने की जरूरत है कि हम सबको विश्वास है लोकतांत्रिक मूल्यों में लोकतांत्रिक अधिकारों में क्रेमलिन नेटो के बारे में दुनिया को गलत जानकारी देना चाहता है बताना चाहता है कि वो बटा हुआ है लेकिन ऐसा नहीं है With lies and ultimatums, Russia was bent on violence from the start. I know not all of you believe me and us when we kept saying they are going to cross the border. They are going to attack. Putin लगातार झूठ बोलते रहे हैं और झूठ का सहारा लेते रहे हैं. He asserted we had no interest in war. Guaranteed, he would not move. कोई भी तर्क नहीं दिया जा सकता. Saying he would not move. उन कदम उस कदम के लिए जो रूस ने उठाया है यूक्रेन के खिलाफ. Saying Russian troops along the border were there for training. All 180,000 of them. There's simply no justification or provocation for Russia's choice of war. It's an example, one of the oldest human impulses, 
ना जस्टिफिकेशन है यानी तर्क नहीं दिया जा सकता और ना कोई प्रोवोकेशन था जिसकी वजह से रूस ने ऐसा कदम उठाया to return to decades of war that ravaged Europe before the international rule-based order was put in place. We can't इंटरनेशनल लॉ बेस्ड ऑर्डर ही दुनिया में रहेगा जो दूसरे विश्व युद्ध के बाद स्थापित हुआ और वो और मजबूत होगा Russia's central bank is now blocked from global financial system denying Kremlin's access to the war funds. Biden is telling us how many steps have been taken against Russia to keep Russia from being a force for global financial stability. The Russian economy has been blocked from global financial system denying Kremlin's access to the war funds. Biden is telling us how many steps have been taken against Russia to keep Russia from being a force for global financial stability. The Russian economy has been blocked from global financial system denying Kremlin's access to the war funds. Biden is telling us how many steps have been taken against Russia to keep Russia from being a force for global financial stability. The Russian economy has been blocked from global financial system denying Kremlin's access to the war funds. Biden is telling us how many steps have been taken against Russia to keep Russia from being a force for global financial stability. The Russian economy has been blocked from global financial system denying Kremlin's access to the war funds. Biden is telling us how many steps have been taken against Russia to keep Russia from being a force for global financial stability. The Russian economy has been blocked from global financial system denying Kremlin's access to the war funds. Biden is telling us how many steps have been taken against Russia to keep Russia from being a force for global financial stability. The Russian economy has been blocked from global financial system denying Kremlin's access to the war funds. Biden is telling us how many steps have been taken against Russia to keep Russia from being a force for global financial stability. The Russian economy has been blocked from global financial system denying Kremlin's access to the war funds. Biden is telling us how many steps have been taken against Russia to keep Russia from being a force for global financial stability. The Russian economy has been blocked from global financial system denying Kremlin's access to the war funds. Biden is telling us how many steps have been taken against Russia to keep Russia from being a force for global financial stability. The Russian economy has been blocked from global financial system denying Kremlin's access to the war funds. Biden is telling us how many steps have been taken against Russia to keep Russia from being a force for global financial stability. Of these unprecedented sanctions, the ruble almost is immediately reduced to rubble. The Russian economy—that's true, by the way. Just that, how the steps taken to bring the ruble to rubble is equal to one dollar. Just that, how the unprecedented, which has never been done before, just that the economic sanctions have been put in place, and that's why the ruble has fallen. 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 20 in the world taken together aur ab rus ki jo aarthik sthiti hai wo aisi hai sanctions ke baad ki ab wo top 20 deshon mein bhi kahin dikhai nahi de raha hai rivals military might these international sanctions are sapping russian strength its ability to replenish its military and its ability its ability to project power and it is putin ये इंटरनेशनल सैंक्शन जो रूस के खिलाफ लगाए गए हैं वो उसे बुरी तरह से प्रभावित कर रहे हैं उसकी अर्थव्यवस्था को प्रभावित कर रहे हैं और वो उसके जो मिलिट्री माइट है जो मिलिट्री ताकत है उसको भी प्रभावित करेंगे Since the invasion, America has committed another 1.35 billion dollars in weapons and ammunition. And thanks to the courage and bravery of the Ukrainian people, the equipment we've sent and our colleagues have sent have been used to devastating effect. हथियार मुहैया कराए हैं यूक्रेन को. Land and air space. Our allies and partners have stepped up as well. आगे भी ऐसा करते रहेंगे. As I've made clear. हमारे एलाइज और हमारे पार्टनर्स भी आगे बढ़कर आए हैं और उन्होंने भी सहयोग दिया अमेरिकन सोल्जर्स भी यहाँ मौजूद हैं यानी अमेरिकन सैनिक भी यहाँ मौजूद हैं और पोलिश सोल्जर्स के साथ नाटो फोर्सेस के साथ वो लगातार नाटो की धरती की सुरक्षा कर रहे हैं हमारी सेग्रेड ऑब्लिकेशन है आर्टिकल फाइव के तहत नाटो के जिसमें हम नाटो की धरती का एक एक इंच सुरक्षित रखने के लिए प्रतिबद्ध है The toughest questions a human can ask: My God, what's going to happen to me? What's going to happen to my family? I saw tears in many of the mothers' eyes as I embraced them. 
जो लाखों की संख्या में रेफ्यूजी यूक्रेन से निकल कर आए हैं उनके मन में एक ही सवाल है क्या होगा हमारा क्या होगा हमारे परिवार का Without their husbands, their fathers, many cases, the brothers and sisters who stayed back to fight for their country. President Biden ne aaj jin refugees se mulaqat ki usme ek choti bachchi ne unse jo sawal kiya usko aaj ek baar phir yahan bata rahe hain Rashtrapati Biden. Where they grip my hand, little kids hung onto my leg, praying with a desperate hope that all of this is temporary. Apprehension. that they may be perhaps forever away from their homes. Sab ko wo sare refugee jo यूक्रेन छोड़कर आए हैं जिन्होंने आज राष्ट्रपति बाइडेन का यह कहना उनका हाथ पकड़कर उनसे पूछा कि उनके परिवार के लोग ठीक रहेंगे छोटी बच्ची का इस सवाल कि मेरे पिता ठीक रहेंगे मेरे परिवार के लोग ठीक रहेंगे सुरक्षित रहेंगे या नहीं उन सब को ये उम्मीद है कि ये टेम्प्ररी है यानी कुछ समय के लिए ही है ये हालात पोलिश लोगों ने आगे बढ़कर पोलैंड के लोगों ने आगे बढ़कर अपने घर अपने दिल को खोला है यूक्रेन के शरणार्थियों के लिए पूरी दुनिया के लोकतांत्रिक देशों की जिम्मेदारी है वो भी अपनी जिम्मेदारी निभाएं। अमेरिका ने भी पहले ही इस बात का ऐलान किया है कि 100,000 यानी लगभग एक लाख रेफ्यूजियों को जो यूक्रेन से आए हैं उन्हें अमेरिका भी अपने यहाँ जगह देगा। In addition to humanitarian aid, the World Food Program told us that despite significant obstacles, Brussels में मैंने ऐलान किया था कि कैसे World Food Program के लिए भी अमेरिका बड़ा contribution देगा, 41 billion dollars, ताकि यूक्रेन में मौजूद लोगों तक वो मदद पहुंच सके। Because Russian forces are blocking relief supplies, but will not cease their efforts. Get humanitarian relief wherever it is needed in Ukraine. ये मदद मारियोपोल तक नहीं पहुंच रही क्योंकि Russian forces रास्ता रोके हुए हैं इस मदद के रास्ते में. Let there be no doubt that this war has already been a strategic failure for Russia, already. रूस के राष्ट्रपति पुतिन इस बात को जानते हैं कि ये अभी जो वो कदम उठा रहे हैं स्ट्रेटेजिक फेलियर है ये एक सबसे बड़ा स्ट्रेटेजिक फेलियर है पुतिन के लिए और जो उन्होंने सोचा था वो वो हासिल नहीं कर पाए हैं Rather than driving NATO apart, the West is now stronger and more united than it has ever been. Russia wanted less of a NATO presence on his border, but now he has a stronger presence, a larger presence. But the other members of NATO are stronger than ever. But the other members of NATO are stronger than ever. नाटो और यूरोप और वेस्ट इस वक्त पूरी तरह से एक साथ है और इकट्ठा है पूरी दुनिया के लोकतांत्रिक देश एक बार फिर रिवाइवलाइज हो गए हैं यानी एक बार फिर उनमें एक नई ऊर्जा आई है Two hundred thousand people have allegedly already left. There's a brain drain leaving Russia. Rus ne jo Ukraine me kia hai, usne puri dunia ke loktantrik deshon ko aur jo loktantrik mulio me vishvas rakte hain, unhe ek baar fir yakin dilaya hai ki kaise loktantrik mulio ki ahmiyat dunia me zyada hai. Saath hi Kremlin me jis tarah ka virod ho raha hai, usne bataya hai ki Rus ke bhitar bhi jo pote ne kadam uthaya, uska samarthan unhe hasil nahi hai. A remarkable brain drain. In such a short period of time, which brings me to my message to the Russian people: 
I've worked with Russian leaders for decades. I sat across the negotiating table going all the way back to Soviet Premier Alexei Kosygin to talk arms control at the height of the Cold War. میں نے روشن لیڈرز کے ساتھ سالوں تک کام کیا ہے ٹیبل کے اکراس بیٹھ کر ہم نے تمام مددوں پر بات کیا ہے in attempting to starve Ukrainians into submissions. Millions of families are being driven from their homes, including half of all Ukraine's children. These are not the actions of a great nation. Of all people, you, the Russian people, پوری جن سنکھیا میں سے آدھے بچے یوکرین سے باہر آنے کے لیے مجبور ہوئے ہیں ملینز یعنی لاکھوں کے سنکھیا میں جو پریوار ہیں وہ یوکرین چھوڑنے کے لیے مجبور ہوئے ہیں پرواہ دیش کی سوموار سے شکروار رات دس بجے ٹی وی نائن بھارت ورش پر